and welcome back to another Worker Wednesday, welcoming in a wonderful new year. Happy 2020, everybody. Hope you had an enjoyable entrance into the uh, new decade. Hopefully you had a wonderful entrance into the new year at the very least. Um, but uh, we're going to kick things off with some Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, fitting perhaps that it be the uh, first game-related video I release this year, considering how much fun I had with it last year. Folks, we're going to pick things up right where we left off with our continued expansion across the river, uh, and hopefully this year will bring us more great glory. As always, folks, if you've been enjoying this series and you want to see it continue and prosper and grow in 2020, make sure you let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. As I've said countless times before, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, and that will continue to be the case in 2020, of course. So, uh, yeah, if you want more Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, leave a like and a comment down below. And as always, as I've said before, I enjoy reading through the comments because you always include excellent suggestions or thoughts or feedback or just a good sense of humor. I enjoy reading through the comments always. Uh, on which note, I will mention really quickly that uh, I saw many of you explain or, or try to explain. I'm pretty sure I get what y'all were getting at with regards to the track issues we were having over here, but hopefully my shifting of the tracks over here has solved that problem once and for all. I think a big part of it was we had so many crossings and uh, not just uh, X's, but also, you know, crossings like this that were overlapped on top of each other. So I'm really hoping that uh, we're going to see less rail problems at the, at least at the start of this year. I uh, will see, though. I'm, I'm feeling fairly confident with the adjustments we made last session. Uh, so hopefully this will all be all right. Now, apart from that and keeping an eye on our trains and making sure that we don't continue to have the issues we've been having, you know, lately, I guess. We're also keeping an eye on this expansion over here. 2020 is the year we take to the seas, or at least to the rivers. Uh, we need to get the tracks over here built as well. Got to make some connections over here. Make sure all these trains are able to move smoothly and feed into the docks down here so we can feed into the dock down here. Uh, but I think priority does need to be the bridge, as many of you have pointed out. Not that this bridge area over here is almost done. I wonder if I should just invest in this area. 74k is not a lot of money. It, as, as, as nice as it would be to build this entire bridge, uh, you know, ourselves with our own resources and whatnot, I feel like it would be smart for me to... Uh, maybe invest a little bit of money so we can start shipping resources down over here because we are wasting a lot of money on imports. If we take a quick look um, over here, no, over here, if we take a look at the import of resources, so this month, I mean, hold on, let's just do this. So this month we're at 130k already. Last month, 177. Mm, I wish I could, uh, I wish I could get a bit more like specific, but you can see actually, there we go, That's that's a, Good way to see it. Um, I believe that red line should be lower, would be better for us. Unless I'm reading this wrong. These charts, man. These charts are, are not the cleanest uh, to, to read. My point being, we're spending a lot of money in importing resources that we shouldn't have to import, that we should be able to truck down. So I want to try and get this stuff done ASAP. So that's the hope today is to complete our construction over here, ensure that the tracks don't cause more issues. And also uh, we're probably gonna be playing at um, double speed because I want to try and make sure that we take care of our unemployment situation. 1200 unemployed workers is a little ridiculous. So I want to make sure people are able to get to work up over here, especially since we constantly see not enough workers up over here or or up over, you know, well, that's fine. There's not a lot of workers needed up there. Uh, but you get my point. Well, we're seeing a lack of uh, workers up in this area sometimes, especially in the chemical plant. And that just doesn't seem to make sense. That doesn't rub me the right way. And then we've also got the, uh, you know, steel mill that's often not working at capacity. And that just means that workers are not being taken to where they need to go to work. So we're going to try and solve that, but I think we can do that while we're playing at double speed because I do want to see some progress down over here as well. Um, and there, there's nothing really to do down over here while we wait for these things to get built up. So let's go ahead. We're at 3.6 million. Good money being made so far. Uh, it's the start of the year. Go ahead and you know what? Kick it right into double speed right away. No need to, to have things go too slowly today, I don't think. Um, I, I'd like to see, let's see, the shopping center needs to get done as well, so people over here are happier. I think a big part of unemployment... Um, 
We have some more staff coming through. It'd be nice to have a much fuller kindergarten, because that might be a big part of uh, unemployment. Workers can't go to work because there's no kindergarten, as you can see. That comes up fairly often. Over here, these guys are not able to reach a kindergarten either. Is that really the case? Oh, are you kidding me? Just out of reach, this kindergarten. Just out of reach. I'm wondering if there's anything I could do. Oh, of course it's about to get dark. If I were to connect this, I don't think it'd be any closer. We could try it, though. We could try if I do something like that and something like this. We'll just pay for it. It's dirt cheap. On that, now can you reach the kindergarten? Yes, you can. Okay, excellent. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. And we'll, we'll clean this up. We'll probably have a, a sidewalk going down this way as well. Uh, these guys are unable to participate in any sports or anything. So that's why I was hoping to have the footpath over here go down so they can maybe go and play football and stuff down here. I believe there will be some connections. Trying to really work on people's happiness. Oh, hello. This is strange that it would allow me to do this. But I will take it. Go ahead and move you right down to there, let's say. I can't imagine this will connect. No, it won't. Too sharp a turn, it says. But this will certainly connect, right? I need to extend this a little bit further. There we go. Go ahead and cancel this little stick, sticky outy bit. That's uh, that's actually that's English. That's how it's actually said. And we can make this connection over here as well. Wish I could make a neater connection. Like I could do something like that. And then I'll take you as far as you'll go. The thing about playing at double speed is I get nervous about my trains getting stuck when I'm, like, dealing with this kind of minutia. Go ahead and do something like that. Connect you and you and get you connected like so. And again, we can just fund this. It's not that expensive. Cool. So now, hopefully, yeah, people will be able to reach that shopping center as well. Uh, so if they need food or, or, or whatever it might be, they're able to get it from a couple of places. Uh, and they, they do need food. Not able to enjoy culture either. Well, let's see. They can get to the football field, which is good. I wonder if I can't get um, this down over here. I can't. That's weird. They must have changed how the pathing kind of works over here. What can I do about you? I can get you down over here as well. Interesting. Interesting. Do something like that. Can I connect you down over here? I can. Well, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's go ahead and fund all that. So that should allow these guys to play football and stuff as well. That'll be good. It'll make them a lot happier. We've already seen some of the red lines over here get reduced, so that's good. You can't reach a kindergarten. Yeah, it's just out of your reach, eh? No, but you can reach this one. We need more staff working here. So let's see. From this building, we've got people dedicated to the kindergarten. You just need more people here. So why don't we pick up some people from all the way over here. Workers without a job. Let's fix that. So let's relocate over to here. And that should help us keep um, this kindergarten staffed up, which should mean, yeah, more babies get dropped off over here. Good stuff. And we could get more teachers coming here as well. Some are chilling in the schoolyard, which I don't like seeing. So from here, let's go ahead and pick up some educated individuals. And drop them off over here as well. Hold on a second now. Seems I may have picked up a bunch of educated individuals earlier. Nonetheless, that's not a problem. This restaurant also needs more bar staff. So I wonder if... No one lives here. There's some people that live here. So some of you are going to the train station. From here. People are able to reach the train station as well. Okay. I want to make sure I don't assign anyone... To work locally if they can reach the train station. Well, here we can do like a 50-50 split. So let's get some of you over here and some of you over there. This is... Oh, you know what? You're not able to reach that far. So ignore what I said about you. About you. Don't go to the restaurant. Just to the, uh, the train station. You're also going to the train station. You guys are heading up there as well. No one lives here. Up to the train station. Okay, so over here. Let's go ahead and move some people over there. Um, just regular citizens. 
push them up over here, and let's go ahead and get you working at the restaurant, at the kindergarten, and at the school. Because again, you need citizens of all uh, education levels at the schools as well for staff, right? Lots of students in the schoolyard, which is not good. And it's a blend of teachers and staff, so hopefully, hopefully this will help. Wonder if I can make easier access back over here. I should probably upgrade that. Is that yeah? It's just been commissioned. So let's go ahead and build you. And I don't think I can fit path down here. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. I'll probably want to upgrade these roads as well sometime soon, but really quickly, let's take a look at the trains. Looks like the trains are still moving, all right. So that's good. Uh, what's the deal up over here? You're just loading up on mechanical components. Yes, you are. Take some time, but that's, that's okay. We've got that. Bigger shipments is better. And we're able to export steel. We've got a lot of excess iron as well up over here. Oh, we actually don't. Interesting. What's the deal here? Iron is capped up. So is it just that we're not... Uh, oh, I see. It's stored. We should still be... Uh... Hmm. Getting ore at a decent rate. Some of these places are not getting ore, unfortunately. Weird. Very weird. Oh, hello. It's a big truckload headed to the road. Okay, fair enough. You know what? I think I'm fine with uh, with how things are progressing right now. In terms of the uh, well, mechanical components are headed to the border. Looks like they've been sold off. No, 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 they're about to be sold off. I was like, we're still at 3.7 despite having sold another truck, like train load of mechanical components. No, that's going to help our economy so much. These components, man. So glad I got them. And I'm also glad that I went through the struggle of fitting them in here. Absolutely worth it. Absolutely worth it. Now, steel is immediately being consumed to make mechanical components. I just want to see the rate of work over here. Uh, there's going to be a... Uh, today, I want to try and smooth things out from our uh, previous year's worth of effort and work, you know? I want to make sure that all these systems are working okay. Yeah, it looks like we're going at a decent rate. As soon as the components get picked up, steel starts to get immediately transferred over. Fair enough. Fine by me. Fine by me. Have about 21 tons before you're ready to go again. Sure, sure, that works for me. There's not enough workers coming over here. Oh, well, okay. I might have to eat my words basically immediately here. Were you empty? Hmm. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Lots of workers waiting. Oh, I see. So that first train basically gets topped up, and the second train arrives just a little too, like, quickly afterwards. Yeah. And this train comes through. I mean, again, they kind of stagger because of pauses and stuff, so it's, it's not so consistent. Now you're going to get going. You only drop off a handful of people. Hmm. So what happens over here? You get released first? No, you get released first. Okay, so we might we might see the same thing again. Oh, well, we're still moving at a decent rate. Yeah, and this train comes through and only picks up like 20 or so people. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go ahead and try to change that. Change the pacing a little bit over here. So now you should pick up what's left. No. Maybe Maybe the next go around. Maybe the next go around. And then down over here, we're still seeing progress. Yeah, that stuff's, that's that's not going to be a problem. All right, you want to come up over there? Fair enough. So you're going to pick up a bunch of people. You came through and picked up 150 people as well. Wow. Yep, that is the tram picking up a bunch of people. And there's train number one. Uh, train number two is like right behind it. They can arrive at the same time. <laughs> of course. Of course. And you actually go all the way to train Rexki. Uh, I don't want to get you stuck. Come on now. Back over here. Oh no, this isn't good. 
I may have made things worse in an attempt to make things better. We'll see. Oh no. These trains go in the same direction at the same time. Alright, well, we'll see how that affects our uh, our situation. Economy's looking fine, so at least there's that. Down over here, what have we got going on? So the fire station looks like it's been completed. Let's go ahead and pick up a fire truck for you. Um, we've got speed in level 12. You are the same price, but I like this one with the ladder. Get the one with the ladder. There we go. It looks like construction is continuing on some of these like schools and stuff as well. It's always good to see. The shopping center has been completed, but it was completed a while ago. In fact, I think I paid for the shopping center. These things back here are not being built. I haven't commissioned them yet. Gonna get the clinic done soon. Gonna get the theater done soon. Okay. Work is progressing. I could get some more housing going as well. Hmm. Get some more houses down over here, perhaps. We have a couple about to be made anyway. Get a sign. If, if, if there's the opportunity to work on it, then I might as well. Oh, of course. After so long of not having that issue, it's got to pop up now, of course. Yeah, I'm guessing that they're trying to work over here then. Not both of them. Who headed off to? Road 513. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I don't know why I didn't cancel, but that's okay. I hope that doesn't become a reoccurring situation. Alright, we're still okay in terms of workers and stuff up over here. Alright, cool. Yeah, economy's got a solid base. And as soon as I start exporting steel again, we'll be very safe, I think. We're fine. Fine over here. What are you carrying? 20 workers. Two workers. Ugh. Okay. We, we, we need to make sure this doesn't become a permanent problem. You're headed back. There we go. I, I think I think we're good. I think it was just a matter of it cycling through a couple of uh, this updated situation. Now we need to be picking up more passengers here as well, I think. Got these buses coming through to pick up passengers. They're not, they're not getting out though, is the thing. Or I just need bigger... Um... You're taking people over to the university? Okay. Hmm, yeah, they were just picking up students. Because having 300 passengers waiting over there doing nothing isn't helping anybody. So I could get... Like if I get a bunch of passengers picked up and dropped off at this bus stop, they're able to go to the shopping center. They're able to go to... There's houses. I want to make sure they're able to go somewhere where they can maybe enjoy culture and stuff as well. I wish I could see. Okay, you know what? I can see. If I hover over them, current demands... Okay, let's, let's reduce the pace a little bit. Food, sport. It's a little bit of shopping would go a long way. Pray, drink, alcohol, sport. Food seems to be a common thing over here. Okay, so we could bus them down to this bus stop. I could actually get some, like, football fields or something over here. You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Get some football fields down over here so this kind of becomes a bit of a community center type area. Okay, I like that, actually. I like that. Let's go ahead. Equipment for citizens. Football playgrounds. We can probably fit a couple in here. We might need to flatten this area a little bit. Not the end of the world. Go ahead and lay you out flat. I think it'd be nice to, yeah, have a bit, like I said, a bit of a community center type thing over here. And that way, when people get dropped off at this bus stop, there's a handful of things for them to do here. So, drop one. And we'll just, we'll pay for these. They're not that expensive to build. We'll just pay for these. Let's see, if I put you down... Hmm, put you down like so. Might be able to fit more. We do one... Oh, come on. Guess not. Guess not. So we'll stick to this side, and we'll go... We'll go... One... 
two, three. All right. We can get a fourth one up here or something. What about the tennis courts? Tennis playgrounds, as the game calls them. Hmm. I don't want those sidewalk connections. Kind of nasty. Just the one tennis court, sure. I can live with that. We got a pub down here as well, maybe. We got a pub down here. I'll have to make sure it gets alcohol, obviously, so it needs a proper road connection. You know, after the, the game, you grab a drink. Uh, pub comes this way. The trucks come this way, sure. And then the people walk here. Okay, sure. Yeah, this works for me. So this is a good spot for a pub, I think. Get you going. All right. Let's go ahead and build some footpaths. Let's see. How do we want to connect these? So first of all, I do want to cancel these. I'm not a fan of how they look, like I said. I don't like how they look. Then they go away. There are no vehicles using the sidewalk, damn it. <laughs> Why he gotta do this to me, game? Alright, we'll, we'll remove that later. So if I go down this way, right? Can I actually... Ooh, nah, it doesn't want to connect on that side. Fair enough, we can do that. We'll connect like so. I'm hoping, actually, I should check this out first, that we can do that. Oh, come on, game. Don't do this to me. Of course you will. All right, not a problem. Not a problem, not a problem. Go ahead and delete all of you. Get our fields back up. Now, the reason why I'm doing the football fields is because more people can actually enjoy them at any given time. One, tennis, tennis courts are smaller, but again, more people can enjoy a football field at a given time. Go ahead and drop you down over here. So, a bit more room needed. Do that and let's do that. That should do the trick. That should do the trick, hopefully. I hate that I can't actually put this down exactly where I wanted to go. The game knows what I want, it doesn't want to give it to me. It won't let me have it. Okay, there we go. There we go. And let's pull you down over here. And let's go ahead and make similar branching connections. I kind of like how that looks. We'll see if it's viable. And over here, we want to make sure that... What about, can we do this? Nah, infrastructure's in the way. Nonetheless, I want to do this anyway. Pull you down as say here. Hook you up like so. Cool. So now, fund all that. And this bus stop should be able to get to all of them. Yep. Yep, clear connections, good stuff. Uh, so yeah, we'll make sure that that bus stop gets active, bringing passengers in. Let's go ahead and build this. And let's go ahead and build all these, right? Let's make sure, of course, that we're also bringing... I mean, I need to bring workers to the pub. Some workers do get dropped off at this bus stop, I believe. Those guys will hopefully come down to the pub to work over here from this bus stop. Yeah, it's unspecified, so it'll kind of go everywhere. Go ahead and fund you. Fund you and you. We got we got a lot of money. We're almost at four million. So our it's I think it's safe to say that our economy has got its solid base. Alright. Now, where is the bus that brings the workers? Because that's going to become a bit more important now. It looks like passengers are coming down here. That's good. Oh, wow. Looks like passengers are seriously coming down over here. No staff, though. Why are you all going to the tennis court? No one, like, there's missing staff everywhere, but no one's going to the uh, football field. Uh, there we go. You're bringing workers. Hopefully we got a decent split over here. Some of the goods are missing. No food, eh? Okay, I gotta, I gotta take a look at that. All right, good stuff over here. Good over here, over here, and over here. Okay. Over here, we've got bar staff, but no alcohol. Um, I mean, alcohol is one of our products that we don't really have an issue with at all. Got so much alcohol. 
So let's go ahead and get how much alcohol. We need four tons, is it? 7.5 tons. All right, fine. So let's go ahead and pick up a new vehicle, closed hull, 7.5 tons of alcohol at a time. 6.5, we got 8, we got 6. Uh, looking like 6 is the best we can do. 6.5 maybe. 14, 6.5. Sure. Or we get you for eight, but that there's wastage there. You know what? You're slightly cheaper. 92 kilometers per hour. Slightly stronger engine as well. Okay, it's gonna be you. You're going to go ahead, pick up alcohol right from there, and drop it off. Well, first I want you to use that waypoint, and then I want you to come down this way. Hit the pub, and there we go. Now you're going to pick up only alcohol. Uh, wait until loaded, and you're going to drop off all the alcohol. Wait until unloaded. There we go. That should be good for us. Now, why is food a problem up over here? Food, food shouldn't be a problem over here. Meat's coming through. Meat hasn't been... It's, it's funny. Meat hasn't been a problem for a while. We've got alcohol. What's what? Hmm. Okay. You, why aren't you loading food up? You come here, there's no food to be had. Is that the issue? Because we're missing crops over here. Ooh, has, has the crop situation caught up to us? What's the deal here? That doesn't make any sense. Do we get another cargo train, perhaps, to bring crops back at a more decent rate? Because I guess loading livestock is causing a bit of a slowdown here. Hmm. Okay. Crops are being used up. Wow. Yeah, crops have been used all the way up. That's not good at all. Hmm. That's not good at all. All right. We might want to get another cargo train. Just running this uh, cargo line. You know what? Let's do that. So let's go ahead. We'll send you over. We're going to get rid of your crop pickup duties. And we're going to purchase one that has two cargo wagons. Go ahead and buy electric locomotive. I get something nice and powerful here. 64... 6.4k kilowatts. 110 kilometers per hour. Ah, damn. Fine, let's stick with this one. And let's go ahead and get some cargo wagons. Two boxcars, I think, should do the trick. Your job is to go over here, pick up all the crop, and go over here and drop it off. So, load only. Uh, where are we? Crops. Crops, crops, crops. Crops. Over here, unload. Wait until unloaded. Let's begin. Now, hopefully we don't see any train issues coming up over here. Knocked us right back to 3.6. So close to the 4. I don't know if we actually hit 4, but knocked us right back. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully this will solve some issues. Production of crops themselves shouldn't be a problem. So you're going to load up 108 tons up to. But you will load up 108 tons. And it will cost us money because we're buying crops. Don't know if that's the end of the world. I think I'd always want to have the option to buy crops available. Okay, missing staff. In some cases over here, alcohol is getting delivered. People are coming in for drinks. You know what? I feel like that has solved some of these passengers' desires. These trains are still moving smoothly. These trains seem to still be moving smoothly. Yep. And over here, no issues quite yet. Excellent. All right, cool. So maybe we get another bus. Are you going to get going? Oh, yeah, this train just wants to top right up. 
And so this train only gets like 30 people. Oh no, we're getting, we're getting a couple more people. Alright, fair enough, 40 people. Not the most ideal of circumstances. Anyway, what I was getting at is, so a lot of these folks who want sport, food, culture, they can be bussed down to here. You know what, I could have put a theater or something down over here as well. For some additional culture. Hmm. Let's see. If we take a look at our mods. Take a look at our mod cinema. Pretty small theater. The other theater is a pretty hefty big one. We can do this one. It's a relatively small one. Pop it down over here maybe if it would fit. Looks like it will. Oh yeah, it'll fit. A little bit of flattening required. That's about it. Can't fit it over here, unfortunately, I don't think. Even if we get rid of the sidewalk there. Mm. An option. An option. Then there's the, uh, the bigger theater itself. The one that comes with the game by default. Where are we? Cinema. As a big beast. As a big beast, and it will not fit. It will not fit. Put it down over here. Now nah, that kind of kills some of our uh, layout. Alright, sure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mod. Put you down, say, over here. Flatten the train a little bit. See if that works and is reachable, even. I get the footpath extended, maybe. I don't want to build it until I, I can confirm that it, is reach, that it is reachable. Do that. Yes, it is reachable. Alright, cool. In that case, let's go ahead and get you built. Again, hoping that it satisf satisfies the needs of our people a little bit more. A lot of passengers waiting here. Waiting to get picked up, I guess. It's good to see the activity down here, at least. People coming by, getting drunk. Alright, good stuff. Alright, so we definitely need to get some of these passengers getting down there. Because some of them need food. Some of them need sports. Some of them need culture. So let's go ahead and get another large bus. One of these. I'm tempted to get two of them, actually. Let's go ahead and do it. You're going to go here. You're going to pick up only the passengers. You're going to drop them off in our newfound community center. That's what I'm calling it. Unload. Oh, sorry. Over here. Unload everyone. Yeah. I want to copy that over. You. Start. We've got a lot of people waiting. Go ahead and start. All right, cool. And that'll hopefully give us some uh, some movement there. Now over here, are we seeing any blockages? Because we have increased what's uh, going on over here a little bit. Seems like we're fine. Seems like we're fine. You've got crops. You're making food. You've got livestock. You're making meat. We've got crops, you're making alcohol. Alright. Now again, we have that means we've started importing crops, unfortunately. 13k rubles. 17k. Well, I guess we've always been importing crops. Quite a bit of, actually. I wonder if we make even bigger farms. Now what's the deal over here? Looks like this section of the bridge has been completed. Very nice to see. Oh, and it's nice to see also that these guys are actually hitching a ride. Thank God, they're so slow moving otherwise. Beautiful. So this is the next thing that needs a ton of work. Resources have started arriving already. Again, I could just pay for this. The longer I wait, the more money we make. Maybe if we get to 4 million before this is done being built, I will, uh, I'll just pay for this. What about the tracks over here? Are these trains still getting stuck? No, it looks like these trains are moving alright. That's good, that's good. You're just going to come up here and swap over, right? That's not a problem. As long as things keep moving smoothly. All right, and what are we looking at over here? Fewer passengers waiting. Hmm. 
you should be getting more passengers. I don't know why you're not. Weird, it only got nine passengers. I guess this bus stop that it's taking people to. No, no, this is this is our new and improved area. Weird, people weren't getting on. Okay, this place is topped up. This place, pretty empty. Well, I certainly hope that people are taking advantage of these new services. Over here. Oh, wow, the harbor is done. Oh, okay. Wow. Happened without me even noticing. Happened without me even noticing. I don't know if it's even visible in this, like, darkness. I think they've improved the shader at night so you can see things a bit more clearly, but it's still pretty, pretty pitch black. Better near the water, I guess, but uh, that's our harbor completed. Uh, so, let's see. We need to work on the tracks over here if we're actually going to take advantage of that. What's the cost of building this one down over here on the other side. This would cost us 300k. Okay, it's not bad. That's not bad, but a ship itself, a boat itself would cost us and this one costs us a million. And yes, it can carry more, but do we really need that much? I mean, you know, the difference isn't that much. The difference is 160-ish. Okay. The difference in carrying and oh it's a lot slower though. See that? The uh Frida has 14 knots, but the Volga ba Volga Bolt Volga Bolt, sorry, uh has nine knots. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Do we really need to carry that much cargo? That's the I think that becomes the real question. Do we really need to carry that much cargo? Well, I don't think so, if I'm honest. Missing boards. Are you kidding me? Come on. These trees still not ready to cut. They're, they look big enough to cut. They, they look big enough to cut. Unless the game doesn't cut trees that we've planted, which I don't think is the case. Then it would have stopped producing wood a long time ago. Mm, not 100% sure. A little worried about that. But we are buying bricks now. Board, sorry, we're buying boards. Bricks have topped up significantly. I'm wondering the deal is with that. I guess it's because we're not really building anything that needs bricks anymore. This thing needs bricks. Alright, what is our situation over here? You're topped up-ish on bricks. Is anyone actually bringing you bricks? Because if not... Oh, come on. You. Rather than paying for bricks over here, we should probably just bring bricks. Considering how many we have just sitting up there looking pretty. Alright. Ah, that just means getting another truck, though. That's the rough part. <laughs> 14 tons. Alright, so I know exactly which one I'm going to get. Where are you? Open hull. You, 12 tons. Yeah, that's good enough. Close enough. I'm going to start up here. You're going to end down here. You're going to bring bricks. Unload them all. Okay. That should be good. And over here, we should be able to stop buying bricks. Cool. Save some money that way, right? Save some money that way. And progress over here is looking pretty good. Yeah, we've got these houses happening. Slow and steady wins the race. We got this one making progress as well, missing asphalt. Well, is that because we're not able to produce it over here? Let's see. No workers. Well, where is the bus that's supposed to bring workers over here? It's coming with workers. All right. It's just uh, a little slow and methodical right now. A little slow and methodical. All right, so that's that. What else have we got going on? Looks like these trains are, yeah, not having any trouble. Which is good to see. Now, you come here for food. And you top up and you go. And you come here for meat. You top up and you go. And same thing over here. All right, you know what? Not, 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 not the worst thing in the world. It's pretty, pretty quick. So in that case, with all this happening now, are we seeing 
Food, clothes, meat. Food, clothes, meat. Food, clothes, and meat. Excellent. This still needs to be built. Missing resources, missing boards. How are you missing boards? You've got... You've got them. Got boards. Where are you picking boards up? Sorry. Uh, boards, open storage. Yeah. They should be able to pull them from over here. Shouldn't be a problem. 14 tons of boards available. Alright, so I'm not sure. Go ahead and assign you. And assign you. Let's just see if that does anything to kick him into gear, basically. Otherwise, we're seeing pretty smooth operating, I think. Still a ton of passengers over here. Guess I could move more of them around. I mean, I think people are overall happier. Let's see. Some workers without a job. Worker can't work due to sickness. Do you not have access to the hospital over here? Yeah. Got ambulances and everything, so I guess it's just whatever. Sick day, sure. Sick month, sick year. Um, church, place of spirituality. Again, we don't care about that. Unable to get food or meat. Hmm. Okay, so we're having some trouble getting that back at, you know, full pace. That's okay. It'll take some time. Why are there so many clothes over here? Jeez. What do we have over here? Food is coming through. Eight tons. Twelve tons of food coming through. Soon, hopefully. Just gotta... Move it faster. What's wrong with you? You're waiting over here, you pick me up and go to the shopping center? Okay, fair enough. Fine. That's not a problem, okay. Over here, yeah, meat and food. Not able to participate in any sports. I feel like these tennis courts were a mistake and they should have been football fields instead. And what I could do is I could build... Maybe maybe I can fit a football field in there. I doubt it. Yeah. I build it at infrastructure. Get rid of the sidewalk over there. Might be able to fit it. If I get rid of the sidewalk over here, I'd be able to fit it. But I don't know if these people will have access. What about over here? Nah, this, this would not work. And I guess I could put it down over here. Again, it cuts off access from certain angles. See, over here I could have fit, what, three football fields maybe. One, two, actually two football fields. I really don't think that would make much of a difference. Alright, we can try and get rid of the sidewalk over here. Here's what we'll do. Go ahead and cancel you. See how adversely that's affecting some of these guys. Okay, they're still able to reach. That was my big concern, was would they still be able to reach the uh, shopping center? Seems like the answer is yes. Fair enough. So, with that done, get the football playground. Please tell me you'll fit. Please tell me you'll fit. Infrastructure. There's got to be a slot in here somewhere. Part of it's not even infrastructure, as we as we very well know. Part of it's just uh, the thing not the things not being flat enough. Hmm. Well, we definitely can't fit it like this. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> hey. I guess things don't have to be lined up to work, right? I'll uh, I'll accept it. I'll accept it. I hate it. I hate it. God, it's so bad. Go ahead and build you. Build you as well. We're not going to build you. That was just a little too ugly for me. Alright, fair enough. And let's go ahead and build, or plant, I suppose, some trees over here. Or even some bushes, I guess, is what I mean. It's a little bit of greenery. Some trees in as well. Come on now. 
There we go. A little bit nicer. And I should probably do the same thing. Uh, where are we? Down over here. I think it's a more welcoming place to come and, you know, play some sports, have a drink, walk around a little bit, just enjoy life. There we go. Look at all these people coming through, though. That's one thing that I, I, if I'm completely honest with myself, I've been ignoring a little bit, is, like, these kinds of needs of the people. Lots of people waiting over there. Why don't you come over to this one or this one? Well, this one's also full. Oh, we don't have power. Hmm, do they need power? I don't know if these buildings need power. Now some buildings don't need power. Where's our closest substation? Is it really like up over here? I could get one down over here. I assume you don't have power either. Yeah. All right. You kind of need power for a for a thin, for a theater. Um. So we got you coming down over this way. There is a switch over here. Oh, you don't have power. Hang on now. Nothing has power. Okay. I was like, wait a second. You should not have power. So manual purchase, just one lot to kick things back into gear. Ah, there we go. Now we've got power. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. What's the deal here? We've got alcohol, but no one to drink it. It's okay. Truck can stay put there. Nothing else is coming up there. So hopefully that'll help solve some of these issues again. Pick up the pace once more. Missing staff. Surely at least one person. Yeah, there we go. One football field is not enough to please everybody, obviously. But it's something. There's no kindergarten. There is a kindergarten. I wonder if I make someone... Someone here dedicated. Quite a few of these guys dedicated to the kindergarten. But I don't know if I want to overdo it. Oh, I'm making some progress over here. And some progress over here as well. Yep, vehicles and buses coming through to get to work. Good stuff, good stuff. Really ought to work on the tracks up there as well. Might actually get the boats done before the bridge. Which would be awesome. <laughs> Which would be awesome. I mean, this bridge is almost done, actually. Almost. Uh, once the sun rises, we'll work on the uh, the tracks over here. Make sure it doesn't cause any issues for our exports, obviously. Oh, speak of the devil, there's a sunrise. There's a sunrise. So, let's see. We want to connect you over here. Let's, let's cancel a little bit more. Or have I already got... Uh, Got one semaphore over there. Let's cancel you. I said let's cancel you. All right. Let's go ahead and cancel the tracks a little bit. There we go. Alright. So how do we want to play this? I don't want to play this. We've got right side, right side, left side, left side. Right. I, I want this to be... I guess this could be a two-way. So if you're going to connect there, and you're going to connect there also want to make sure these are able to connect. Right? And then these will be two-way chains. It's tough because it's always going into or out of a junction. Right? This is also going into a junction now. You're facing that way. You're facing this way. I should slow it down because I know this is going to cause a mess over here right now. So you're seeing everything is in one block and you're seeing this is occupied. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do I want to have two way over here? Let's see now. You want to go up that way, but there's a train here. Right. Again, trying to like logic this in my head because this might be a little too messy for uh, for the game. This might be a little too tight, rather. I shouldn't say messy for the game. This might be a little too tight for uh, what I needed to do. That's green. Mm. 
This is not helping. This is just becoming dirtier. <laughs> okay, let's see. Spending some time without making money is not gonna be the end of the world. We're still okay. We've got a we've got a decent bit of money coming as soon as this is done. As soon as this mess is over with. So let's see. Can I go through here? Sees a train over here. I could have it look to the next one. To the junction. Still sees this block as one, right? Mm, no, because again, this train is just too long to do that. What I could do is I could move this further up like so get rid of this one and maybe that will clear it it will not do a little bit further up as well no hmm if I move this connection up that might work come on now go through go through that'll give us more room to play with over here basically come on now you're able to get through yep there we go Place you down and cancel you just to get rid of the dot. Come on. You know you want to. Okay, fine, fair enough. Uh, let's see. This goes on a little bit longer. And then blends in right over there. Yeah, that's, that's too far ahead. Blends in over here instead. Okay. Then we can cancel the section of track. Oh, it's being used right now, fair enough. Cancel these semaphores, let you go through. Cancel the section of track, there we go. Cancel you as well, there we go. This semaphore is not allowing you to come through. Hmm. Well, I guess it's seen the whole thing is blocked. Okay, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, I'm going to cancel you real quick to make sure you can go through. Now, what's the deal here? So, here, we'll get a semaphore facing that way. And here, we'll get a semaphore facing this way, right? Right regular semaphore over here chain over here yeah so far so good that's a perfect fit so that's okay this thing needs to be built though so let's go ahead and commission you you were going to pay for okay so you're gonna stop there oh you know what that's too far ahead damn send you back to the steel mill Oh no, it should have stopped there, yeah. Strange, okay, just keep going as far as you can go. There we go. Now we'll turn you around. But you should stop over there. No, it still got the green light for some reason. There we go, there's the red light. You're coming through. You're gonna move down this way. Okay, good stuff. And you see a clear path. Good stuff. Feel like this is right. Two way over here. We could have a crossing over here. We could have a crossing up over here. Allow this to... Oh, oops. Sorry. Allow these to be two ways. And allow this to be a two way. And then if we get the crossings... Let's see. So you're going to yeah come up over here. Alright. Looks like, looks like we've got this. Looks like we've got this. And if we have a crossing over here, it would allow me to, um... Hold on, sorry. These, uh, the, the pink dots are just driving me wild. As you guys very well know, I hate seeing them when they're, when they don't belong, when they're not actually separating a block. Anyway, uh, so we'd get a crossing over here. Mm, maybe let's make it longer. We know one of my bigger issues is that I always underestimate what we need the length to be. So let's do something like that, let's say, and something like that. That's about a train length, I think. Right? So they can cross over if needed. 
to get down to here or get out of there. Right? Yep. And then up over here, we do the same thing. We have a crossing. The train can flip around if it needs to. I think that makes sense. And again, we'll pay for these. Not that expensive. And they're absolutely worth it. Pay for you and pay for you. Let's see if that works. Because what it might still want me to do is it might want me to put a chain over here. I want me to put a chain over here. And a chain over here. Because it's getting into a, a junction over here. And it looks like that has released this train. That seems to be what the game wanted. Another 33 tons of mechanical components coming through. What's the deal up over here? Is anything stuck? No, nope, you're coming through. You got clothes and fabric. Good, good, good. All right. Feels like that was the right move. Now, the tracks over here, I might actually just pay for. Because uh, we don't have the construction office connected. And I don't know if I want to actually go through and build a wood connection just to build these small sections of track. That just seems useless, you know? This is almost done building. I think once this is done building, we'll just pay for those, uh, for those tracks. Those sections of track. Now, what's the deal back over here? Community center is getting some use. Let's see what the people are saying. Unemployment is at 1100, so basically the same. Hasn't, hasn't changed. Huh, okay. Are you able to reach the theater? No, they're not able to reach the theater either. That lair is having some trouble. Well, okay, we'll take a look at them in a second. Let's look at these guys here. You're not able to enjoy culture either. Why not? I'm guessing one theater is maybe not enough. When it's fully staffed, it fits a lot of people. I imagine culture, yeah, culture. Pretty consistent demand. Unable to get meat again. All right, let's let's see what the situation is here. See what the situation is. We've got some meat waiting. Really nice to see the city all lit up and stuff. That's that's a fire station. Hopefully, there's no meat there. No livestock. Don't tell me the trains have gotten stuck. Nope, trains are moving. 6.6 .6 tons. Not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Hmm. Yeah, that's... That would explain why... Building is without power supply. What? How is this becoming a problem? How is this becoming a problem? What's up over here? Operating without issues. Lots of workers here. Lots of coal ore coming through. Coal should be produced at maximum rate considering we are topped up on workers. Here as well, operating without issues. Over here, we're topped up on coal. Coal really should not be a problem for us. Considering how much of it we have how much we've dedicated, you know, resources to it. Like, this is just sitting here. That's 950 tons of coal. So don't tell me you're running out of coal. Okay. Alright. Livestock, alright, catching up. Meat, what's the deal? Where's our train? There it is. Taking its time to get here. A little bit on the slower side. Feels a little bit on the slower side. I wonder if I should get rid of one of these, uh boxcars because again it's slowing it down because it has to pull so much more weight right when it's going uphill and stuff Tokyo drift up over here with that truck all right we're good livestock's being delivered you're getting to work right away meat gets produced immediately you're able to store some livestock are you yeah you're emptied out yeah I mean I could bring more livestock over well, I'm happy with this thing just bringing crops. I could. Let's see. 
We have a lot, but it'll go away just as easily, right? It'll go away just as easily. I just need to have... Maybe more workers coming down here to produce livestock a little bit faster. What's the deal over here? Where's our train? Or rather, our tram. 21 workers? Mm, it's not the best. I could get a second one, because then it's a matter of frequency as opposed to one being able to do a lot. Small school. Where's our kindergarten? Shouldn't be a problem. People are saying there is no kindergarten. There is a kindergarten. Just you gotta you gotta just take your kid there. That's all. Not able to enjoy culture. I guess we could get uh we got a restaurant here. We don't have a theater. We can get a cinema set up over here. The problems over here are much smaller. Culture is a big problem. Alright, so maybe we got some cinemas set up over here so people can enjoy that. And over here, meets back on the menus. That's good. Yeah, I'm wondering if I rework this rather than have just a handful of... You see, because it's only four visitors per cycle while over here, 22 visitors. Right? That's a huge gap. It's a huge gap. This baby's almost done. It's almost time for, uh, for our boats. We'll probably just pay for the uh, factory connections and the tracks, like I was saying. Oh, we're out of power again. I don't understand. And yes, this is the definition of insanity, me just doing the same thing over and over again. But I sincerely don't understand. Now, why is this... How did you make it through? What I'd like to know. How did you make it through? Please go all the way. There we go. You should have the green light first. You should have the green light first. Okay. I guess that's supposed to be a two-way. I guess this is supposed to be a two-way as well. Let's see. I gotta want this thing to have the green light. I want this thing to have the green light to go down over here. Oh, I see, because you're over here. That's why. Get you out of here. Thankfully, this is a two-way now. That should be able to push through. Yep. Once that leaves, I imagine this will get the green down over here. Let me just check. Or is it too busy giving this thing the green? Go on, pull further back. Go on then. One day we'll figure out how the trains work. One day. Over there. Maybe I don't want another semaphore over here. Maybe I'd rather this be one long section. Yeah, I think so. Maybe, maybe. Well, we'll find out soon enough, folks. We'll find out soon enough. Pretty happy, though, that we got this kind of community center set up today. Uh, I think that was the right call, focusing on just a little bit of, you know, culture and, and sport and things like that to make sure, like, look at the, look at the people actually coming down here to use these, uh, you know, resources that I've provided them. To actually use all of these assets. It's it's nice to see it happen. It's nice to see it happen. Now, lots of passengers still waiting here. Not as much as we were seeing at the beginning of this episode with like 300 people waiting. And hopefully we'll start solving some of these issues uh, with culture and sport. We need to do a little bit of reworking over here, I think. Because it's, uh, it's just not working out. It's just not working out. Especially for some of these guys further up. They're still able to reach the theater, but... Just doesn't do enough for them, I guess. Nonetheless, folks, this is where we're going to call it a session. We've made some good progress, I think, overall. Down over here, we're seeing these houses get built. We've seen the uh, docks basically done. Oh, looks like the docks are, yeah, basically done. So, might uh, rush some of the construction over here, as well as the track construction over here. And uh, next session is going to be a very interesting one, I think.
I hope you enjoyed this one, though, folks. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving. I'm having trouble fitting the entire nation in here. There we go. There we go. As we said, at 3.6 once again. Folks, like I was saying, if you enjoyed, let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of. A massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.